Hello, I'm Vicki Addison and welcome to your PeminaValleyOnline.com video news update. Here are a few of your top local news stories from the week of June 6th to the 12th. Special Olympics awareness was the goal of the Law Enforcement Torch Run, which took place in Morden and Winkler Tuesday, and organizer Scott Edwards says they definitely achieved their goal. Edwards says the run has not been held in Winkler and Morden since 2006, but the turnout was on par with that year. He adds the Winkler and Morden area have always been very supportive of Special Olympics and he feels confident they will continue to bring the run to the area in years to come. Chair of the Law Enforcement Torch Run James Cuvier was also in attendance and says the run started in 1981 in Wichita, Kansas and has been growing in success every year. Construction has begun on a major renovation at Carmen Ford. General Manager Jim Hay says the first thing many will notice is the 23-foot tower and expanded showroom, as well as all new LED lighting on the lot. Renovation also includes additional space on the second story with a staff lunchroom, lounge and meeting room that will accommodate the entire staff of 20. Hay says staff are excited for the upgraded facilities, which were originally built in 1981. Construction is expected to be complete in time for a grand reopening August 29th. Parents of young children in the city of Morden will soon benefit from the provincial government's latest funding announcement. The province will fund 5,000 new child care spaces in Manitoba over the next five years, and Pemina Valley Child Care Centre in Morden will receive $240,000 under the program. The money will be used for a new facility in Boundary Trails Place. Executive Director Shauna Richards says the city of Morden and Morden Community Development Corporation will also contribute $300,000. Pemina Valley Child Care Center's new facility will include 44 preschool spaces and 8 infant spaces, as well as a playground on site. Richards adds this will be great news to some of the 100 families currently on the child care waiting list in the city of Morden. Two street improvement projects in Winkler already included in this year's budget will now cost the city less thanks to the approval of a provincial grant. The city received $400,000 to put towards asphalting 14th Street South, from Prairie View Drive to Road 11 North, which is the South City limit, and a complete rework of 3rd Street South. 3rd Street South will be widened to a full 9-meter road, complete with curb and gutter and parking on one side. Mayor Martin Harder says the next step will be to tender the projects. He says if all goes well, they hope to have both projects complete by the end of this construction season. Mennonite Collegiate Institute alumni and supporters came together in Gretna on the weekend to celebrate the school's 125th anniversary. The annual MCI Sanger Fest was used as a platform to mark the historical milestone. According to MCI Board Chair Ruth Siemens, the 125th anniversary celebration has been in the works for a couple of years. She says a committee of community representatives and people from MCI past and present helped put it all together over the past few months. The special weekend was filled with a variety of activities to draw people of all ages, including a golf tournament, a talent night, along with some family entertainment, all of which was topped off with Sangerfest on Sunday. Those were a few of your top local news stories from the past week. For PeminaValleyOnline.com, I'm Vicki Addison. Thanks for watching.